I would have liked to have known <clears throat> where in Germany they were from. Mm -hmm. But um, on this census from 1930, of course, I wasn't born yet. Germany, Germany. It just says Germany, 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 Germany. <laughs> and it was uh, my grandfather and his brothers. Doesn't say where, the, where in Germany they came from. But they settled in Baltimore County. Yeah. All of my wow. grandparents, everybody wow. was born right here in Baltimore County. Why do you think they chose Baltimore? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they came in. They didn't come in New York. Mm -hmm. A lot of people came in up at New York. Right. And they came in, in right in Maryland, right in yeah. the Bay. We've never lived in the city. None of yeah. my family has ever lived in Baltimore mm -hmm. City. We've all been the, in the <coughs> farm cool. and, you know, outside yeah. the city. Well, my one grandfather was a farmer. Okay. Uh, my other grandfather, he was a farmer too. <laughs> because even when I was little, they still had a farm on Ridge Road in Rosedale area. Rossville. It was called Rossville <laughs> then. Later, my father was uh, would go up to Pennsylvania with trucks and bring down coal mm. for people's furnaces. They didn't have heating systems like they did after World War II. Yeah. So he would he had a group of people and a bunch of trucks and they would go up to Pennsylvania the mines. Yeah. And bring down coal for people's furnaces. Yeah. Okay. After World War II, when people started getting upgraded heating systems right and they didn't need coal anymore yeah what did he do so then he worked to uh went to work at crown cork and seal company okay and somewhere there's probably a picture of him <laughs> driving these things around the factory and picking stuff up yeah i don't know what exactly he did but we have pictures of him doing my mom just was born on a farm mm -hmm. she played softball <laughs> <laughs> with her six brothers wow she had six brothers and she would put her long hair up in a cap, put it on her baseball cap so she could play ball with them. But now after she was married, of course, she didn't do anything but race family. She never drove a car. Mm. Yeah. Well, I was the youngest of five. Mm. And um, during World War II, we had boarders at our home. Okay. Men came from all over the country to work at Martin's Air Base and mm -hmm. also at uh, Bethlehem Steel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they needed places to stay. But my mother and my grandmother were both, my, my grandfather had died, but my grandmother and my mother were good cooks. Mm -hmm. And they started out with just two boarders because we had an extra bedroom and they had a big house and extra bedroom. We took in two boarders. Well, they would go to work at Martin's or Bethlehem Steel. I forget. I was only this big. And they'd open up their lunch pails and everybody said, where do you live? <laughs> Look at those lunches. <laughs> So everybody wanted to come live at our house. <laughs> and uh, my father took this big building that was out back. He was planning on making it a big garage for his trucks, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He changed it to a boarding house, had bedrooms, had bought cots for the guys, put in a bathroom, and we wound up with as many as 16 men oh at one wow. time. Wow, so you were running a little hotel. They came yeah. from <laughs> Texas. and. Well, they have like bed and breakfast now that kind of operate on that, but we right. gave them all their meals. Right. Mm -hmm. they yeah, got and they breakfast stayed for a them. while. It wasn't oh, just, yeah, yeah, years, years. Wow. Yeah. Um, they came and had uh, breakfast. They had breakfast in the morning. They packed them lunches for to take to work, and of course they had dinner in the evening. Mm -hmm. So they were happy. They stayed there for years. <laughs> all the servicemen would send when they went in the service. They would send my mother pictures of them in their uniforms and everything. A lot yeah. of the borders that we had. Yeah. But uh, they gave up their stamps. World War II, everybody got food stamps for certain provisions, like butter and meat, things like that, because they needed these things for the service people. And uh, this, all the guys that lived with us would turn over their stamps to my mother. She'd do all the shopping once a week on Thursdays. They'd bake breads and things for a whole week. It was... It was uh, Quite a thing to grow up in a yeah. house full of all these men. Yeah. <laughs>